This is a video demo showing how to palpate the bony landmarks on the distal radius and ulna. The demo is on right arm. To palpate the radial styloid process, palpate along the shaft of radius distally onto the lateral side of the radius. There is a bony projection distally on the lateral aspect of radius. It is the most distal part of radius. That's the radial styloid process, which is the attachment site for the brachioradialis. From the radial styloid process, move on to the posterior aspect of radius to locate the Lister's tubercle. Feel for a bony ridge on the distal end of radius. That's Lister's tubercle aka dorsal tubercle. This is located between the extensor pollicis longus tendon and the extensor carpi radialis brevis tendon. Let's palpate the head of ulna. Palpate along the shaft of ulna distally. The distal end of ulna is the head. Or you can palpate Lister's tubercle on the distal radius first and slide your finger toward ulna about an inch away from it. Now you are on the head of ulna. From the head, move on to the posteromedial aspect of the distal ulna to palpate the ulnar styloid process. It is the attachment side of the articular disc and the ulnar collateral ligament at wrist. Now palpate both styloid processes on radius and ulna and compare which one extends farther distally. If you feel the radial styloid process farther distal, you are correct. This is it for the palpation of the bony landmarks on the distal radius and ulna. Thank you for watching.